Hi, and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. On this episode, we are gonna make a nut-free dessert base in your Optimum 9400 blender. Now, the reason why I chose nut-free is that this is a request I get all the time. Not everybody is able to eat nuts. It also, I wanna make this in the blender because this is a food processor task. But because it's an Optimum high-speed blender, you can do it in here instead. There's no liquid, and it's a little bit about technique to get it just right. First thing we're gonna do is put the one and a half cups of coconut, shredded coconut, in the bottom of the Optimum 9400. We're gonna put the lid on securely and we're gonna pulse it a few times so that it's quite fine. We don't wanna make it smooth and we definitely want, don't wanna over pulse, otherwise we'll make nut butter and you can watch that in another video. Actually, if you like this video, you can always subscribe to the Fruity TV channel and there's always more. Uh, we're gonna pulse a few times and get going. So that's us. Now what we're going to do is scrape down the sides a little bit, making sure that all of that loose coconut is back in the middle of the blender, which is exactly what we need to do. We don't want anything to get caught in the corners here, and that's the difference in a food process, that nice big round base. But certainly this is a very easy task to do in your Optimum. We've got flaxseed meal, which we made in another video, so you can always watch that one. A quarter of a cup, pop that straight in. A pinch of of salt, and this is a Celtic sea salt that I'm using there. I've got the contents of one vanilla bean. I've just scraped it out already. I'm gonna pop that straight in. If you don't have a vanilla bean, you can always use a vanilla paste or a vanilla essence, but remember, most of them, even good brands, will have a little bit of alcohol in it. This one's my favorite vanilla paste, the newy one, because it doesn't have any alcohol, alcohol, alcohol and it's certified organic. I'm gonna pop a tablespoon of coconut oil straight in there. And then the last ingredient is six dates. And I love dates. These are an awesome natural sweetener. They're full of love as well. Can you see that? Uh, it's an awesome natural sweetener, but make sure you take the pits out. Even though the blender can blend them, it'll make a racket and it's really not a great flavor in your dessert base. So we've got all of those things right there. We're gonna pop the lid on. If you need, you can add a couple of extra dates, but check first. Make sure that it doesn't mix properly before you add any, and I think we're gonna be fine today. We're gonna to take the lid plug out of the lid and put that aside and use the tamper in this particular case. We'll slide that straight out. The lid is firmly attached and this is a, a big thing that's come to me recently. A lot of people are asking, why is the lid, why is there no safety function on the Optimum Blender? And you really don't need one because you'd have to pop your arm all the way down to the bottom, but it is important that you double check that your lid's on so that you don't get everything on the ceiling or over your kitchen. So lid's on, everything's attached. We've made sure the blender is on low. I'm gonna turn it on and move it gently gently up to high using the tamper to mix everything together. Now that is way faster than that would take in a food processor. It's a really quick task, but the trick was to make sure that you pulse those coconut, um, shredded coconut pieces before you actually add any of the uh, other ingredients. I'm gonna do a double check by pulling a little bit out and if it holds together like a little sausage in my hand, here we go, which it does, it's not too wet and it's not too crumbly, then it's ready to go into the base. I'm gonna give my hands a quick wipe and pop it in this base. What I've got here is a small spring form tin. I've taken the bottom out and I've covered it with Glad Wrap. And that's just to double check that nothing sticks to the bottom. And as a second backup, I'm gonna take the leftover bit of coconut oil in this container and oil the sides and the Glad Wrap in the tin. Now, not only is this a nut-free recipe, it's also really great for you. Coconut has a wonderful amount, array of health benefits and I absolutely love the flavor. It's gonna be nutty and chewy, delicious. So there we go, well and truly greased. We pour the filling straight into the pan. Use the spatula that you got with your Optimum 9400 to make sure that you can get all of the ingredients out. And this is a great thing about this new spatula. If you look at the end, it's got a little bend in it at the top there. And if you look at the bottom, it's also got a little bend in it, making sure that my hand doesn't rub at the edge of the uh, jug when I'm getting everything out. So I'm more easily able to get as much as possible out of this blender as I use the spatula that came with it and I'll give you a look in just a second. We've nearly got everything out. That's great. And the coolest thing about this is to wash it up, all I need to do 
is put a little bit of water in there, put the lid on, buzz it a few times and rinse. And look at that, we've got everything out from under the blade, which is often a challenge. So make sure that you've got a spatula like this. So I'm gonna push this in all the way around the edge. Now I'm a bit rustic about the way that I make these kinds of desserts. I will give a tip though, it's a great idea to use the edge of your spatula to actually push the corners or the edges since it's a round container, down nice and flat so that you've got a great look when you finally put the topping on to your base and then you can serve it and people will give you a big wow factor on how great it looks as well as how amazing that it absolutely tastes. So I'm going to finish flattening this one out and then pop it in the freezer and you'll have to come back in another episode to make sure um, to see what we can put on top of it. If you do like this recipe, remember, subscribe down below to the Fruity TV YouTube channel and if you need yourself an Optimum 9400 blender then pop down to the description and click on the Fruity website closest to you. Ciao for now.